What is up, YouTube? It's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com, and today we're going to be talking about the iOS 10.3 jailbreak status and the 10.2, I'm sorry, 10.1.1 update status. Now, guys, this ain't rocket science. So I'm going to be sharing some of what I think is going on, and you don't have to swallow it. This is j just my thoughts and what I think is happening. Now, I have a post on my site, iPhoneCaptain.com, and you can refer to it if you want to. And I've gone into more, a little bit more detail there than I probably will get to here. But the main thing that you need to take into consideration, guys, is money. Everything boils down to money. Now, I'm not saying if I were Luca Tedesco, I wouldn't take the money and run. Uh, but I would try to find a way to let my followers know what had happened. And that's what I think is going on, guys. You, you may be saying, Mitch, what in the F are you talking about? I'm trying to tell you I think Luca has accepted some bounty money from Apple. And that is preventing us from getting any more jailbreaks, period. I think the jailbreak is over from Luca. Now, you can go back in a month, six months, whatever down the road, if we do get some updates and say, Mitch, you were crazy. That was not true. And nothing would make me happier than to eat these words. But guys, it's been too long. If you look back in Luca's Twitter, all you got to do is go down his Twitter feed and the story will basically tell itself. First of all, he now has jailbroken the uh, the new Nintendo Switch, which he got on March 6th, and uh, I think it was. No, he says, should I buy a Switch on March 6th? He says th that he was going to go buy one. On March the 9th, I think it was, he got the Switch, and then on March 10th, I'm sorry, on March 8th, he says, we're out of here. So that's when he got the switch. And then on March the 10th, he shows it with a jailbreak on it. Now, you can never convince me that somebody with a development skills of that particular person, Luca, couldn't come up with new jailbreaks for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. If there are reasons besides bounty money, he needs to let us know what they are, guys. Don't you agree? Or, you know, if, if we're never going to get this, then he just needs to put an end to all this false hope we're hoping for and let us move on and maybe move on to things like the Tutu Helper app or uh, uh, Boom Hacks or something like that where we can just go on and... And stop hanging on to 10.2, which we should be already updating from anyway. And he told us back in the day to stay on it. But if you look at his Twitter feed, guys, I think you'll see what I'm talking about. Go over some of the things he says. And also in my post here, you'll see right up here at the top that Jay Freeman posted on August on the August the 4th that the... Uh, during a Black Hat event, Apple announced the security bounty program that it had promised to prioritize and push its updates. So this has been coming, guys, and I think you'll, you'll agree if you'll look and see at some of the things that's happened that Luca wouldn't be playing around jailbreaking things such as the Nintendo when he could be making uh, thousands of dollars from his website and that's another thing, guys, uh, he posted on there that he let his uh, website go down because he forgot to pay the fees. You don't forget to pay the fees on your domain name when you're earning thousands of dollars. Now, Apple pays, I heard, at 200 k Now, that's a big lick, guys. You could really live up for a little while on 200 k But I also heard that the, the 
the exact exploit or hack or whatever that Luca had that maybe he only got like $50,000, but I don't think that would be true because I think he would weigh the pros and cons there and see that he would make much more than 50 k over the long haul of releasing a jailbreak. Let me know what you think in the comments section, guys. Am I losing my mind, or do you think this is some type of conspiracy that I'm on to? Hit that thumbs up, share this video with all your friends, and keep coming back.